I mean, in the number state, we have the election coming up, like I said, in two months' time. Okay, no, no, and you have um, Professor Charles Soludo from Apuga. You have Ifa Yoba from, I think it's YDP. Y YPP. YPP, yeah, Young People's Party. Right? Something like that, or Young yeah, Progressive like Party. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, Young, young pro Progressive Party. I'm not even sure. You have um, Andy Oba from APC, from the ruling party APC. You have um, Val. Val Ozibo. PDP. From PDP, but I think PDP, you are not sure yet they could because I think that's still in court. Same with Apoga, same with Charles Soludo. But I think the difference between the boats, Charles Soludo, because is that is that is that is that Charles Soludo or if I go back, and like we were saying, why 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 you why why have you brought it down to two of them? I mean, Charles Soludo because, because of Charles Soludo because of the he was once a CBN governor, so he has the. He's a professor as well. He has no, a no, sorry, I'm, sorry, sorry. I think there are two things here. Yeah. Who who are the people you think that stand a chance? I think it's and then yeah. the second question is who are the people that you think are viable candidates? So these, these are um, two different because no, you know, so party comes in co party party comes into consideration. So who stands a chance and who is more viable? Yes, I think there are two separate questions in your who own stands, opinion. Who now. stands a chance for me? Either Sudo or. Fine, Oba. Okay. So Ludo, because he's from the ruling party in Anambra, so he's from the Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So he has endorsements of the, the current, press, current governor. Yeah. He has the party structure. He has the um, the party. He has the party behind him and party establishment. But, so I it's think easy. Said, but, but, but are they still in the court and all that? And I think for that, I think recently the court ratified him as a person. Okay. I think so. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. So he has that um party and support. And the governor is behind him. The behind governor him, you know, is behind most, him. Most most house of house of most people in the in the house of um, assembly are from Apoga. So so it's easy for him to you know to get yeah, that, to get the seat. Yeah. Party. So I think he's the one that stands a better stands chance. Better chance. Coming in second for me will be if I but because of his money, you know <laughs> he has he's he's a, he's a current senator in Anambra from Anambra states. And I think he has, because of the amount of money he has to spend, you know, he money is important in politics, obviously, not just in Anambra, but Nigeria, not about the world. So, you think he has a connection? Yeah, 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 but with the money alone, with the money alone, the ability to buy support, which is what he has, <laughs> you know, the ability to curry favors of people, you know, the ability mm -hmm. to do and undo things in the election, you know, so he's the one that will, I'll will be like. Is a very, it's gonna be a very serious competition between him and Ifan Yoba. And the uh, Soludo, you mean? Yes, Soludo, sorry, Soludo and Ifan There was, there was this just ahead that but people, some people don't like Soludo because they said that he's the people, people are saying that he made a comment during the last. Yeah, my friend, one of my very close friends doesn't about, like doesn't like him, and we're having this discussion so, last, last week, Sunday, yeah, last yeah. Sunday. And yeah, but this one I'm saying, did you hear about it? I've heard about it, but like he made a comment about Buhari being an angel, a God sent, doing his. Second tenure, when Buhari was running for second tenure, that Soludo said that yeah. Buhari is a godsend to Nigeria in the midst of the suffering and everything going on. Did you but hear that? No, I didn't hear that. Because if he said that, that's, that's a turn of love. That's wrong, obviously. That's, that's a liar. Yeah, when I heard it, I was. Yeah, that's wrong, obviously. So, but that's the issue. That's the issue. And like you said, all that sound negative, but that's the issue. <laughs> really brought, that's the negati negati negativity you need because. You can't say it says like that. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 heard, I heard you recently, and I'm like. Yeah, and that shows you the disparity between the Soludo that maybe is a professor and is up there, and the average Anambra person. Mm -hmm. Because maybe to him, Buhari might be the best person. But how can Buhari be the best person yeah. to anybody? Whether you're yeah, a professor some, you, you'd or you'd be surprised, a you'd be surprised as to some people he is, to be surprised as to some people and he is. No, 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 that's disconnect. If he really said that, and if yeah. he really believes that, it's enough to just disqualify. We don't, we don't know what no. he believes, but so, so far, so long as he said it, that's, that's it. Exactly. That's if it. he said it as a result of what he believes, yeah. it's enough to cancel him for, for yeah. other people. Because, yeah, my friend was telling me that the dad, we were having a conversation, she and her dad mm. were having a conversation about it, so, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. That, and like you said, so that's, what, that's the issue people have with him because apparently from his statements and from his actions, it seems to be he sounds aloof from I don't yeah, I feel like he sounds arrogant. Yeah, he's he sounds, not, he's not, he sounds out of touch. Yeah, he sounds out of that's the word. So, so that's that's the issue people have with Solido that yeah. you know his comments are so out of touch with the average yeah. person who is so. But then again the dilemma is this, he is 
uh, is educated and experienced. Which yeah, but you have really to be in politics. You have to have the ability to to speak like the common man. Even if you don't, even if, to the even, man, if yeah. you don't even if you don't have the ability to, that's a, that's a politician's a good a good liar. Yeah, but, but what I'm trying to say is that it's unfortunate that this is actually the kind of package we need because we keep complaining that our leaders are not educated. Yeah, yeah. Our leaders are... Yeah, but it's not, just, yeah, but it's, not just, so it's not just about being educated. That's the issue. Like, right. there are so many... Lots of lots of people that occupy positions of power in Nigeria are very educated. Most of them even, even abroad, even abroad per se. Mm-hmm. Has studied abroad. Yes, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't qualify. That, that doesn't mean that... But yeah, that's, you that's, 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 that alone is not enough. You know, the issue is about, like we said, character. You know, the ability to... How do you how do you how, how, how do you relate to the other person? You know, you yeah. can't say things that the other person does not believe is true okay. and expect to win. You know, so yeah. that's the issue I feel like you know he has. But that's that's where if I your banana comes in and yeah, because if I can relate to the common yeah, exactly, uh, you know, exactly. You know, they see him as their own person. You know, an area. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been. They all know him as a former, as a businessman. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah, I think that's those are the those are the descriptions. It's just that, yeah, that so no, for, because for me, I felt like Sonu should have been the perfect candidate, being that he's educated and experienced. I just no, wish. Not really experienced. I think no, when I, when I mean experienced, at least he has held a position of authority. Yeah, but it, yeah, any, yeah, any, any right. experience is good for politics, for leadership generally. But, all, but almost that means that means you're that right, means, you're right. But yeah, my point is something. my point is something. But all of that means all of them, because all you, of them have experience. But there. again, because you know that because if I ever can relate to the common man, doesn't make him a better candidate. Of because, course, because, of course. Okay, yeah, my right. friend said that he's an armed robber. That he's yeah. a rogue. Yeah, yeah. That he wants to start that one. When, when, when you even talk about the experience, in my opinion. Mm. If I buy is the most expensive of all. Because he's in business. Yeah. No, no, no. So that's even he's dealt, we, we he's still he's need, dealt with. We still need administrative experience, which is why I believe Solundo has. Yeah, yeah, but which is the question then becomes which experience is better? I don't is think it, anyone is, is better. One, in my I opinion, the business one is better, in my opinion. Well, you, you because, might, because as a governor, you have to have the ability to bring contracts and, and, and business contracts on our state, which is what if I ever has. If I ever bring in business contract with his oil business. No, for you to have done, for him to have been in how many years he spent in the oil business, that means he knows how business, business which is what Anambrasid needs. Anambrasid needs that business. So, so like a, not, I'm not trying to draw equivalence between both of them, obviously, but someone like a Trump that knows how to draw his business. If you can run Anambrasid like that, you know. Anyway, some people think that he just have, because, you know, you know, being a tout also has the, the agro side of it. The fact yeah, that, no, so some people, see, people, yeah. people think that he's an agro, that he's just an area that's you know, because because he has money, so it's not enough to make him a better candidate. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I'm, not so. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm just. I'm, I'm just I'm trying. I'm not his spokesperson, but <laughs> my point is just that you know, there are so many things you can look at. Obviously, yeah. just two of them. We're not talking about Andrew. But okay, oh. what, what of Val? Val, 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 Val is even experience. Exactly. You know, he's educated and, as well. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to being a governor, he ticks all the box for everybody because he's he looks calm. But he looks like the least of the. He looks competent. He looks like he knows what he's saying. Like yeah. he like, a, like someone will know what was telling us about. He looks like the best person. Yeah. To, to do the number state, but, but you know, party now will just be what is yeah, going Yeah. You know, because he sounds he's an international businessman. Yeah. He's run Hilton and we're transcoping in, in Abuja. And why he transcoping for me now has both administrative and both of them. Six several boxes. He ticks off all the boxes. Mm-hmm. You know, but the issue then is you know his party party issues that PDP. And I'm is it is not that um, strong. We strong, have a stronghold. Uh, compared, if you compare the arsenal or the warships that that <laughs> if I am going to bring out, it's one of them is uh, they pale in comparison. Uh, I don't want. I, mean, I don't want to go into his campaign. His his last campaign for governorship, it was a, it was a show. Let me not even go into it in this video because the video is already long. Yeah. <laughs>